In this video, I'm gonna be talking about five essential tools that you need for your high ticket drop shipping business. So if you like the sound of that, please be sure to smash the like button. Let's get this video out to as many people. It really helps me out. If you haven't already, also please be sure to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell notification, and be dropping a ton of new videos on Shopify drop shipping in the future, specifically high ticket drop shipping on Shopify. Don't have a free training yet, but we will be coming out with one to help you further along on your journey. Not gonna really go into my computer on this one because my computer can't handle that. So I'm going to talk about the apps that you want or you need for your store, and we will pop up pictures and stuff of them as we go. So there's no going into my computer, so let's get started. Number one is pretty important. I would say it works a lot better on a niche related store. And that is going to be a pop-up app of some form, you know, whether it is they're on your website for a minute or 30 seconds or 10 seconds or whatever you want to do, which is great about Shopify because you can customize anything pretty much that you want. You want a pop-up app where you can capture somebody's email. You know, you're paying for traffic to go to your website. Why pay and then just have them leave? where they were clearly hopefully interested in what you were you know, selling to begin with. So why not try to capture their email? I'm not saying you're gonna capture every email. In fact, it's literally between like one to 4% that you're going to actually capture. But say a thousand people go to your store that week, you know, that's if you're at 2%, that's going to be what, 20, 20 different new emails that you got that week. You know, if you're really running some ads, you know, you know maybe you get 10,000 people to your store, that's 200 emails a week, you know, 800 a month, you know, they add up, you, you build an email list, specifically if it's niche, because if it's niche, then they're like, all right, well, I like these items, whatever your items are. If it's a more general store, then they're probably less likely to give you their email because they're like, all right, well, this store is just, it's everything. I can probably find a more niche store somewhere else. But you know, whatever your niche is, there it maybe they're it, vacuum cleaner world or whatever. Maybe there's a website out there like that. I just came up with that on my spot. If they're really into their vacuum cleaners, they're gonna give you their email for every single time that they need a vacuum cleaner. So I'm gonna give you some examples. One that pretty much everybody talks about is Privy, and the other one's gonna be Opti Monk. O P uh, T I Opti Monk. Personally, I've tested both of them so far. I do like Privy because it has some built-in other features that OptiMonk does not have, but I do think that the basic templates and the built-in, everything that OptiMonk has is better than the built-in stuff that Privy has. Uh, they both pretty much do the same thing. Uh, I think that they're both decently challenging to really navigate when you first get started, specifically Privy. Like it, it's kind of clunky. Um, they do give coaching calls. Uh, it, it, they're okay. It really, it really wasn't that helpful, but they reach out to you and stuff. Uh, they try to close you. It, again, it's a great app. It works. It's just that it's a little confusing. Like most apps, when you're first getting started, apps are pretty much just like software where you're learning a new software, except there's a bunch of little ones. So you get to learn a bunch of them. Then once you understand it, you're good to go. Um, personally at the moment, I, I'm, I'm testing out both but I am leaning towards Privy. OptiMonk does seem to also have a, you know, a chance of something that I'm going to be using in the future. So it's either or, it's just what you prefer better. But Privy does have other add-ons like being able to email market from it that I think is going to win it out over OptiMonk. So that's that. If you want an email pop-up, whether it's, you know, they're on your website for a specific amount of time, an exit intent pop-up when they're leaving, you try to capture their email, whether you're just saying, hey, join our newsletter or whether you're trying to give them something for free um, or something percentage off or anything like that. It's up to you. The world is your oyster. You can test, you can do the AB test, split test, things like that. But one thing I always suggest with any of these softwares, I'm going to keep suggesting is just watch the videos that they hopefully have for you. If they're explaining what they do and you know, they give you instructional videos, it's much easier to get started with these types of apps like that. So that's that's what I suggest. So Privy or OptiMonk, I'm sure there's probably tons of other out, of ones out there. You just look at the ones that have the most reviews and a high, high amount of reviews. They're probably pretty damn good. Number two is going to be a live chat feature of some sort. And there's a lot, a lot of these. You know, there's Tidio, there's Ch Chatera, I believe it's called, Chatera. There's Talk, which is spelled T-A-W-K. Um, and you know, they all have their pros and cons. Personally, I've really only looked into Tidio. So many people are using Tidio. You can make chat bots with it. You can do all sorts of things with it. You can message people right when they get to your store with it. You can set up the bot to message them over time uh, when they come back to your store, if they're returning, you can ban them from your chat. 
there's a lot of things you can do. And I really do think that it is, you can get notifications every single time somebody goes on your store, turn yourself literally into like Pavlov's dog or whatever the hell that is, or like ding, ding, ding. You get the sound, you're like, oh, somebody's in the store. They also do have apps for the computer. I'm not sure if they have one on your, yeah, they do have one on your phone. I have it on my phone. Um, so they have it on your phone, computer, um, desktop app, not just, not just a web app. I've never really looked into the other ones. Uh, I've seen talk. Dot io being used a lot. I've seen Chatera on a few of them. I'm sure that they do pretty much the same thing. It, 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 it's really up to your preference. Um, but it, it's, I do like, I do like Tidio. So those are two, uh, decently popular ones. Next is going to be some form of email marketing app. And you don't really need to get one because Shopify does have built in email marketing that you can do. Although there's just other just platforms that are better for it. Another thing is Privy also does have it built in. So you can do Privy emails from Privy with any of your emails that you get. You can do that as well. The one thing about Privy is like, I really don't like their templates. Their templates suck. And it's just like, you have to build everything from scratch pretty much anyways, which I would usually do no matter what. But you know, if you want something quick and easy, usually their templates aren't the best or the most appealing looking. They look a little bit unprofessional. There's also MailChimp, which is what a lot of people are using. That's what we're working into starting to use, where you take all your emails from Shopify and Privy and push them into MailChimp. And at that point in time, you can have a lot of different campaigns, much more in-depth segmentation, things like that. It's been an industry standard email software for a while. We actually used to use it for our course side of the business, but then we moved over to something called Kartra, which has everything implemented. So we got rid of MailChimp, but MailChimp's not that expensive. I didn't really go into the prices. Privy, I, I don't even know the prices, so I'm not going to go over them. Privy, I think they all have like free and like $15 or more a month plans. MailChimp, I know explicitly because I just signed up for it recently in the last couple of weeks, it's like $15 a month for the cheapest one. So you want an email, again, you get these emails, you need to market to them. So you know, it, it's gonna be free money once you make the sales uh, or uh, you know, at least you paid for them. Now you can now reap the rewards of, of making more money off those emails. Um, so you, you do want to have some form of email marketing set up or else you're pretty much screwing yourself over. Get an email marketing software. I just listed off three. Uh, there, there's definitely tons of other ones. There's Klaviyo. There's, there's, uh, there's a ton. If there's anything that there's too many of or a lot of, it's email marketing softwares. Number four here is going to be a reviews app, some form of a reviews app that somebody can leave reviews on your items. You know, if you don't have reviews on your items, the chance that somebody's gonna buy is gonna be much higher if you have reviews on your items and those reviews are good. Is there ways that people scheme reviews? Yes, I don't wanna talk about that, but there's gonna be two reviews apps that I've seen are most popular. It's judgeme and stamped.io. I've been testing out both. I've used judgeme more in the past, but stamped is something that I'm also looking at. So it's, I really have no, particular preference on them at the moment. Judge me, I think is easier to get set up, but again, you know, they, they're all not too, too challenging. And they, uh, if they're a good application, they're going to have a good customer support, which at that point in time, you can reach out and get something and get something fixed very quickly. Reviews apps are very important. Have it under the title of your items or somewhere near the title at the top of the page. You can have it at the bottom of the page. You can do all sorts of things with them. And really they can all, they also have automation set up where you can request reviews. Hey, can you, after a certain amount of time, they have five, 14 days after item was whatever, send a, you know, review request. And again, you're getting people's emails, you're getting people's phone numbers, you're getting people's everything. So you can contact them and say, Hey, like, I hope you enjoyed it, which works both ways much easier than on other platforms, like on eBay or on Amazon. Technically, you're not even allowed to call the person. That number that's there is like an Amazon number that they reroute through this thing. And you have to put in all these, you have to put in their zip code and all sorts of stuff. And it's, it's only supposed to be used for like USPS, FedEx, people trying to deliver items, you know, you're getting, you're getting their email, you're getting their phone number on Shopify. It's so you can contact them and it's so that you can actually you know, be in contact with your customer and provide good customer service, which these other apps don't, or other platforms don't like you to do. So, you know, even one person, I remember they had an issue with one of the items I sold. I believe it was just them messing up. So they were in contact with the manufacturer back and forth and they were messaged me that, you know, they were in contact with the manufacturer. The guy was very thorough, very, like very great customer to have. And then at the end of it, he's like, oh, we figured it all out. Thank you very much for being in, in contact with me, supporting me the entire time. And I was like, well, I'm glad to hear it. Yada, yada, yada. It's like, if you wouldn't mind, just can you, like, it would be awesome if you could leave a review. And, you know, it wasn't through the automated app or anything like that, but he ended up leaving a review, five stars, we're good to go. Any review counts, you know, the chance that somebody goes to your website 
and sees, or somebody else's website sees a review and your website sees no review, if they're the same price, same everything else, they're probably gonna go for the one that has reviews or click on the one that has reviews first. So you want reviews, um, you just don't want fake reviews. So lastly, and I'm not gonna recommend any type of software here because there's so many of these out here um, and it's just some form of a recommended products software. So most themes have, oh, you might also, you may also like this or whatever, recommended just products at the bottom of the page. Once people scroll down past the description or whatever, it'll be like, oh, you recently viewed and you also may like this. Usually the themes built in ones suck, they're terrible. So you wanna turn those off and you wanna go out there and get some form of your own software on, for yourself. There is so many out there that I'm not even gonna like pick, choose or suggest one. It's just that you want something where you can turn on and be like, all right, well, I wanna suggest products for this product based off whatever. You can do it manually be like, all right, this item, I just wanna suggest this, this and that. Or you can do it more of an automated way where you're like, I wanna suggest only brands or brands and product types that are the same as this item. And then people scroll, when they're scrolling down, they're doing their research. You wanna suggest other items to them. Cause say it's it's one vacuum cleaner, like I suggested. And they're like, oh, well, this one's pretty nice, but does it have any other ones? Like, of course it helps that you have variations, maybe different sizes, colors and whatever. But if you scroll down, they're like, oh, well maybe this one's better for me. And this is, this is you may also like, and it's a recommended product. It's going to help you convert much more. And it's, I you can watch it time and time and time again of people. There's other software I'll mention where you can watch people, what they're doing on your store. I'll, I'll do another video on that. And time and time again, you're gonna see people looking at your items, be like, okay, yeah, well, you can't really see what they're thinking, but like, I can imagine that's what they're thinking. And then at that point in time, you'll see them scroll down and they're looking through the recommended products that are like similar, like, oh yeah, okay. And then they click on this one then you can tell okay they're going back and forth between the pages and then maybe eventually they buy the item or they just leave your store who the hell knows you know you're not going to convert everybody you're only going to convert a small percentage of people but you hope that your conversions are paying off for your ad spend or else you are losing money so that's about that that's five very important apps that i would say that you want for your store for types of apps not exact apps i, I gave you ones to to go into and look at yourself set them up yourself. Obviously, if there's a training later on down the road, I'd show the internals of everything and how to actually set it up. A lot of them like can get confusing, little small settings. Um, I got other important apps that I do wanna talk about, but these are more like, I guess, I guess this video should have been prefaced as like five conversion type apps that you wanna get, because there's other apps that aren't based for conversions that can definitely help you out um, just as much, just different types of like analytics apps and things like that. So I'll make another video on that. Hopefully this video was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, ask them down below. Thank you very much. Be sure to smash the like button. Thank you very much. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.